If you are working in Oracle Fusion, mastering Oracle Cloud Visual Builder is a game changer. Why? Because it's the tool that you'll use to extend and modify your Oracle Fusion application without heavy coding. In this video, I will not only introduce you to Oracle Cloud Visual Builder, but also walk you through how you can turn a simple idea into a fully working web application in just few minutes. Here is how we will flow. We will start with a real world use case, then spin up a free Oracle Cloud Visual Builder instance, then jump straight into a hands-on exercise. I'm Siva Khoya, an Oracle Ace and Oracle Certified Integration Professional. Thank you for tuning into Oracle Cloud ERP channel. So if you are ready, let's dive in. Meet Sam. He needs to quickly build a simple web app to share the latest lottery results, like the last draw date, prize money, state, and the winning lottery number. Normally, designing a web app means hours of coding layouts, writing data sources, and fixing UI issues. But with Oracle Cloud Visual Builder, all that grunt work is simplified with intuitive drag and drop tools and ready to use components. In this video, I will show you how Sam turns his idea into a working app in just minutes. Whether you are a developer, a student, or a business user, get ready to see your ideas come to life. Before we dive into building our web application, here is a quick roadmap of what we will cover. First, we will understand the architecture of Visual Builder, a simple overview of how it all fits together. Next, I will show you how to get free access to Oracle Cloud and how to provision a Visual Builder instance. After that, I will show you how to create a business object which is used to define the data structure of our website and how to populate the values shown on the website. Then we will design the user interface of our web application using Visual Builder's page designer. Once we complete our development work, we will stage and deploy our application into production environment. Finally, I will show you how to make our web app available to public and accessible on internet. Now you know what's coming, let's first understand the architecture of Visual Builder. Now let's understand Oracle Visual Builder architecture using our Lottery Results app as an example. As developers, we log into the Oracle Visual Builder to build our web application. Then, in simplest terms, we create a business object, let's say lottery result, and assign fields like prize money, state, and winning lottery number to this business object. After that, we add values to these fields from front end. Based on business object that we added, Visual Builder automatically creates tables and inserts data in Oracle Cloud database. Next, we design our app's user interface by dragging these fields onto a canvas, no coding required. The app is then created and hosted automatically on Oracle servers. If required, we can even pull data from our Oracle SaaS applications using REST connections. Finally, once published, users can access our Lottery Results app directly in their browser. Now that you saw the big picture, let's perform these hands-on activities one by one. Head over to oracle.com slash cloud and click on try OCI for free. If you are a first time user, just complete the registration process using this link. And once you complete the registration, you will receive $300 cloud credit. This is more than enough to get our feet wet on Oracle Cloud Visual Builder. Once you have logged into your free trial or paid OCI account as OCI administrator from the main menu, go to Developer Services. Under Visual Builder section, select Visual Builder. Click on Create Instance to create our Visual Builder instance. I will give a name to my Visual Builder instance. I will keep the rest default. 
and then I will click on create visual builder instance to create my instance. As you can see, my instance is being created after a good seven to eight minutes. My visual builder instance is activated. To navigate to visual builder user interface, I'll click on action menu, then select service homepage from the drop down. Here we go. This is where we will create our first visual builder application. I will click on new application button because we want to create a new application. Next, we need to name our application. Let's call it Lotto Flash since it meant to display lottery results. After I tab out of the field, the application name is automatically generated from the display name we just entered. I will keep the default empty application template, perfect for a basic application without extra bells and whistles. Then I will hit finish to kick off our new application creation process. This is the main interface of our Visual Builder application. From here, we can create one or more responsive apps along with service connections, business objects and other resources that we need. Like I mentioned earlier, the very first step is creating a business object. Business object defines the structure and fields our web application will use. To create our business object, I'll click the database icon and then hit the plus sign. From the options, I will select business object, give it a name, then hit create button. Here we are on business object configuration screen. Notice the multiple tabs available. From here, you can define fields, set up security, or even add sample data. We will navigate through these tabs as needed for our app. Since we need to add fields to our app, Let's head to the Fields tab and start setting them up. By default, Visual Builder creates a few fields out of the box that you see here. For example, there is an ID field to uniquely identify our business object. Plus, there are other audit fields to track our business object history. These come standard with every business object that you create in Visual Builder. Now, I will click the Add Field button and start adding each one of the fields required for our web application one by one. I will click Add Field, select Field, name it Last Draw, pick Date as Data Type, and click on Create Field. I will follow the same process for the other fields. I have now created all the required fields for our web application. The next step is to add some sample data into these fields which will display on the front end. To add sample data, I will navigate to data tab and click on add row button. I will now enter some lottery results into our fields. This is the sample data that we want to show on our web application. To insert sample data, I will click on the add row button. This completes our task of creating the business object and populating it with values. In the next step, we will start designing the user interface of our application. In this step, we will create a new web application so users can access the lottery results directly through their browser. Since we did not create any web application before, you can see the web application panel as empty. To create a new web application, I will click the plus icon next to the web apps label in the top left. After clicking the plus icon, a pop-up window appears where I will enter name of web application, choose a navigation style and click on create button. What you are looking at is our Visual Builder web page designer. This is where we define the look and feel of our web page. By default, our page comes with a banner, header and footer with Redwood theme. On the left hand side, there are a menu of components you can drag onto our page. 
For this demo, I will keep it simple and drag a table component onto our page. I will select table from list of components and drag on my web page. The next step is to connect this table to our business object so it can display our lottery results. To do that, I will select add data, one of the table options which is displayed on the right hand side of the page. Once I choose add data, a setup wizard appears. From here, I will pick the business object we created in the previous step. Then I will click next. Here I will drag and drop all the fields that I want to show on my web page. I will click next again and then finish. That's it. This is how our web page looks like in the front end. With this, we have successfully completed our task of creating the web application. In the next step, we will look how to stage and deploy our application into production environment. Once development is complete, the next step is to test our app in the staging environment before releasing it to production. Staging creates a copy of our app in a separate environment included with Visual Builder where testers can access and test it. To stage my application, I will click the three dots in the top right corner and select stage. For this demo, I want to copy the sample data into staging environment. So I will select the second option and click on stage. Let's say a tester provides feedback. In that case, I can create a new version of my application by using options in the left hand menu. To create a new version of my application, I will click on left hand menu. Then select all applications. Then click on three dots and select new version. As simple as that. Finally, I will click on create button. A new version of my application is ready now. I will now go ahead and stage my new application version again. Now let's assume testing has passed and we are ready to deploy into production. To do this, I will select menu on top right and select publish. I will click publish and our application is now live. I will open right hand menu again and click on open published application. There we go. Now our web application is live and available to end users who have right access in Oracle Cloud. But notice it is still not publicly available on the internet. Now let me show you how you can make your app accessible to general public. To review the current security setup of our web application, I will select our web application here. Then I will go to settings and then select security. Here you can see require authenticated access is enabled. This means users must have Oracle Cloud credentials to access our app. I will now create a new version of our application and disable this requirement. To create a new version, I will click on new version button. Then give a description of the change and click on create button. I will again select my app, go to settings, security and disable this flag. We also need to do another security configuration step at business object level to expose our data publicly. From the left hand menu, I will select business object, then click on security, add role based security and select view access for anonymous user. Next we need to enable anonymous access to our business object API endpoint. In order to do that, I will click on go to settings and select the checkbox allow anonymous access to business objects. It is now time to stage and publish my application. If I now open the application URL in an incognito window, I can see the lottery results. This confirms that our application and its data are publicly accessible. That's a wrap folks. In this video, we walked through the full journey of building a web app 
in Oracle Visual Builder from idea to live application all in one flow. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more interesting Oracle Cloud tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.